Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be measuring the amp load on the copper coming off of Hive OS. So we're testing four miners from Hive OS, running them at 12.7 volts, 550 frequency. These are on S19 Pros. So we're seeing if we can get higher hash rate, but at the same wattage. That's the goal of our overclock today. And we're gonna be doing that using a special tool. So if you wanna see how that works, make sure, first of all, you hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for us to set you up an ASIC or a GPU mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. We create farms from the start, from the very, very start where there's no land, there is no gravel like you can see here, no transformers, no gear, no containers. We built everything from start to finish for our clients, doesn't matter where you are, it could be international, it could be United States. So go to CryptoLLC.org if you're interested in that, or if you're interested in a GPU farm, we do that as well using Hive OS. And if you're looking to buy yourself the GPU's ASICs, we have a marketplace on our website, CryptoLLC.org. And before we get started, Jesus Christ saves your soul and Bitcoin saves your wealth. So make sure you have one or the other. All right, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna walk in there, there's four miners, they're all running on SD cards, Hive OS. They're running at 12.7 volts, 553 you can see. And we're going to be measuring the amp load on there. These transformers are running 231. So you can take the amp load. I'm gonna get off these four miners. So you can times it by 231, that'll give you the volts. So, I mean the uh, watts, that'll give you the watts. And you'll know exactly how much Hive OS is using. Now, right now, the temperature is warm outside. And for S19s, once the temperature on the chips is above 65 Celsius, you start losing efficiency, it starts going down. So right now the chips are above 65, so our numbers are going to be higher than they should be. Uh, the numbers will be a lot lower, well not a lot, maybe like 100 watts lower uh, when it gets cooler outside. So keep that in mind when we're doing these measurements. All right, let's go in there and start measuring. So here's these four miners here. R437, 38, 39, R440. These are S19 Pros, one, two, three, four, all on SD cards. So we know their numbers, they're already written down on our little log that we have, just in a text editor. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna measure the amp load. So this is the panel here. I'm gonna set this thing to measure in amps here, just off of a copper wire. We're not measuring all three phases, we're only measuring just one. So we're gonna plug this guy in like this. And we're gonna take the average of the two coppers. So right now it's 15. We go over here. 14.6.7, give it a little bit of time. So 14.7, let's take the average of that, go to 14.8, let's go to 14.8. So okay, we memorize that, the first number is 14.8. This one's 14.15, okay, 15.1. Let's measure the next one down. We got 14.8, and then this one's average gonna be 15.3. 14.8, 15.3. So we got our two minus here. And I already have the numbers, the minor names there. So first one is 14.8. Next one is 15.3. Now let's measure the other two. So then this one right here. I, it's a good thing that I picked minors that are basically in order. The coppers are already in order here. So that's great. Got 14.9. Fifteen four, so fifteen three. Okay, so average probably like fifteen point one. Okay, fifteen one, and then fifteen two, and then the last one. We got fifteen one, fifteen one. Okay, both of these are exactly the same. They're both at fifteen one. Like that. 
Now we can take those numbers and we can just multiply by 231 up here. Make a little space here. Times that by 231. Let me uh, actually use my one hand here to open up a calculator on my phone. Give you guys an idea. Here, 231. So 14. Let's actually just take the average of these uh, four miners. So it's about like you can you can do a more accurate math on there. But just for the sake of the video, we're just going to grab a number, say 15.1. I'll take that one. 15.1. Let's keep it at 15.1. That's 3488 at 15.1. 3488 watts. And that's doing 3488. That's doing that at temperatures of 80. So it's 80 outside right now. 80 Fahrenheit. So at temperatures 80, it's doing 3488 at 80. Now, that will go down. If I measured it and the chips were actually at 65, which means it has to be about 60 degrees outside, uh, just for the S19 Pros, because they have, uh, they, the chips heat up faster than the S19J. You can see this S19J right here. This one has less of a problem keeping the chips cool. S19 Pro has more of a problem. So you can see a difference here. Here's a 19J and here's a 19 Pro. So if I was running high OS on the J, it, maybe it would still keep the chips at 65 even though it's 80 degrees outside. It's possible, but for the 19, I know it does not, it just doesn't work. They, they have a hotter temperature on the chips. Now the reason for that is most likely that the S19J right here has 126 chips and this S19 Pro, it has 114 chips. So there's more chips on that guy, less chips on that guy. So most likely the chips are different and because there's more, they can kind of keep the frequency down, which means that the temperature is cooler on the chips, so they, they, they keep themselves more efficient longer, right? The S19 Pros come off of efficiency faster than the S19Js. So that's the problem there, most likely. Um, of course, it all depends how they ain't built them out. But anyway, there you go. So you guys, you guys saw how we measured that. That's how we know for sure what the load is how much of uh, the copper we're using. Those are 20 amp uh, copper wires we're running, so we're totally fine. We're only at 15, 15.1 15 amps overclocked on that S19 Pro. Now for the S19J, they only use about 3,050, 3,100 watts actually checked. We actually did the real check, not just what Bitmain says, but we actually checked. It's about 3,100, 3,050, 3, 3,100 watts. So again, copper is perfect. Everything is great. Uh, now we got those numbers. We're gonna run the numbers here. Uh, we're gonna take away the fee that HiveOS takes for running that firmware and then seeing if it's actually profitable. This is what we do for all of our clients, by the way. We not only just run their miners, just plug them in and run them. We don't do that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what a typical company would do, a managing company. We do a lot more than that. We talk with HiveOS. We have a conversation with them right now as we speak, uh, talking to them every day about the firmware, trying to get a better working firmware, um, having more features, um, such as uh, it gets too hot outside, or and you want to scale down the PSU and the, the load and then scale it back up. Or we talked to HiveOS about uh, uh, running their pool, or running, um, instead of using amp pool, using HiveOS pool, getting a discount on the percentage, and then that way it makes it more profitable and, and it gives us a more, uh, more of a reason to switch to HiveOS rather than running it just straight stock firmware. You know, things like that. So we bring all that to the table for all of our clients. So not only are they getting management, they're getting a build out from start to finish. They're getting HiveOS if needed. Also talking to Bitmain firmware. Have all contacts of sales, everyone. So we just have an absolute stack. Absolute stack from zero to 100. I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. And this is going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.